This hydrophobic lizard is my favorite and I think it'll be yours too. Something's weird about its neck though. Let me explain. All the lizards in this video are called anoles and they all have these neck flaps that they use for communication. These neck flaps are called dewlaps and all but two of the 400 plus species of anoles have some form of these flaps under their neck. The main use for dewlaps is to display to other gnolls, which is their form of communication. It's basically like waving a flag. The gnoll will puff out its dewlap and move its body in a rhythmic motion to communicate with others of its own species. Sometimes it may be territorial to display to another male, or maybe a courting display to impress a female. Anoles extend their dewlaps on their own with specialized muscles, some even have bones in there, but pulling them out doesn't hurt them, so don't worry about that. The colors, patterns, and sizes of these dewlaps all correspond to where the anole can be found in the wild. For example, an anole found on a beach in the light sand might have a darker dewlap to stand out more, or an anole found on dark trees might have a lighter dewlap and larger to stand out more. As I had previously stated, there's over 400 species of anoles and almost all of them have dewlaps. There's only two that officially don't have dewlaps, of course, there's a few that I think don't have dewlaps. These two are an example. This is a Hendersoni and a Bajarocuensis. There's other species of lizards that have dewlaps. This is a Polycurus. It's a called knoll, but it's not. And then iguanas actually have dewlaps as well, but they don't extend them the same, but they're for the same purpose. This is one of the species that doesn't have a dewlap, and this is the second. This is Anolus vermiculatus, my favorite species, but look, I'd say that's a dewlap. There's a lot of things that make this lizard cool though and why it's my favorite, even though it doesn't have that silly neck flap. I'll touch on them being hydrophobic in a minute, but I just wanna talk about how amazing it is to hatch this species in captivity. As far as I know, very few are still producing this species and it's such a joy to work with. That's a baby, this is an adult female, and then this is an adult male. They just look so prehistoric, crocodilian-like, and feeding them is one of the funnest parts. This is a frozen thawed pinky mouse, wasn't harmed, it was already pre-killed, so fun. And now some ASMR feeding of a cricket for you if you like that type of stuff. You can just skip it if you don't. You can see how he grabbed that cricket, just so much intelligence in that little body. And another cool part is these lizards are hydrophobic. They are called the Cuban stream and all, and check that out. It's like a glove of air around them. They can go into water and they'll hold their breath, hiding from danger or catching fish, and then come out like they were never in the water. This is a different male going in. I'm gonna let him swim around. Now, he realized we're watching him, so he stopped and stayed. So this is what they do when they're hiding in streams. They'll stay and hang out until they know it's safe. Of course, in this case, I pulled him out. They also have these amazing blue eyes. Just such a prehistoric looking animal. And honestly, my favorite knoll, of course, I love them all, and there's so many I can't wait to share with you if you stick around and keep watching.